You know, we've all seen them on the roads. Deer are everywhere this time of the year. In fact, in the last 20 years or so, get this, the deer population in North Carolina has increased from 10,000 20 years ago to over a million now. That spells trouble on the roads. I spoke with Allied Insurance owner Christopher Cook about what we need from an insurance standpoint if you do hit a deer. Sure, so in our state, it's required that you have liability insurance on your automobile. It's optional to have coverage for damage to your car. Um, and that comes in two primary um, coverage types. One is called comprehensive. In layman's terms, we call that acts of nature or acts of God, things like hitting an animal, flood damage, hail damage, um, cracked windshield goes in that category. So that's comprehensive coverage. And then there's collision. You collided with something. You were driving and you wrecked. Now, well, Christopher, I hit a deer. I was driving and I wrecked. Yes, but it was an animal. It's an act of nature. You need to have comprehensive to cover hitting an animal. But avoiding a deer altogether, that actually can be difficult. Cook says it's as, it's as hard as it is to hear. Sometimes you may just have to hit the animal. Animals move a little bit more dawn and dusk. Um, so, you know, when it's kind of not real bright outside, early in the morning, later in the evening, that's the most prone time. And then, the, Eric, I hate saying this, but the thing that's just awful to say, but it's true as far as your car insurance goes, hit the deer. Hold on, 10 and 2, press your brakes, but stay straight. Do not swerve and hit the guardrail or swerve and run off the road and risk your life.